to put off the old man and put on the new man. We're, when we make Jesus Lord of our life, then the Bible says God sends the Spirit of His Son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. And Jesus enables, helps us to be who we, He'd have us to be. Amen. Then He works His work in us if we submit to Him. Yes. Then He's big in us. But there's great deception. There's great deception. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do, now see it's going back to the law he's talking about earlier. Under the law he couldn't do what he wanted to do. For the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh by God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin he condemned or put to, to death the sin, sin in the flesh. Yes. He put a sentence of death on sin in the flesh. Hallelujah. We still have to exercise faith. We still have to desire to walk in that and choose to walk in that, to walk in the spirit, not in the flesh. Even though he has made that provision, we still have to do something. So I have to do something. Yep. Hallelujah. That the righteousness of the law may be fulfilled in, say, the righteousness of the law. Righteousness. You see, there's righteous requirements of the law and there's civil ceremonial rules and regulations of the law that just pointed to what Jesus would do at Calvary. But the righteous requirements of the law we fulfill when we choose to follow God. Amen. When we choose to walk in love with our fellow yes. man. If you want to walk in faith in your life, you better learn to walk in love because faith worketh by love. Amen. One time I had the Lord speak to me. He says, since faith worketh by love, if you're not walking in love, your faith won't work. That's right. Hallelujah. So forgiving people is walking in love. Yes, it is. So love on people. Forgive people. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For they that are after the flesh, and this is important, do mind, say mind, mind, the things of the flesh. There's a scripture that says, whatsoever things are good, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are true, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. That's yes. why I don't watch the news very much. Because I call it the bad news. People say, did you see this? I usually don't. Because I don't watch the news very much. Why? Because I don't want to be thinking about those bad things. Because they're dragging up everything that's happening all over the world. Amen. That's bad. And I'll tell you, there's bad things happen all over the world. Amen. But, but we get concerned about what's happening on the other side of the earth. And we should be concerned about what we're, how we're doing in our life every day. Amen. We need to every day get up and decide we're going to walk with Jesus today. Amen. We need to start praising God and giving Him glory. Yes. Start telling God how much you love Him when you first wake up in the morning. Amen. That's what I do. Thank you, Lord. I say, I love you, Lord. I start praising God when I first wake up in the morning. It helps me get off a good start in the day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise your Father. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. And they that are after the Spirit, the things of the Spirit. That's why we should not be listening to worldly music much. I mean, because that, that's some of that worldly music is not godly music. I mean, it, it does not build you up. It does not edify you in the spirit. It, like, pulls you down that's right. to evil things. Hallelujah. To be, for to be carnally minded is death. In other words, you get your mind on carnal things all the time. That brings you death. How many wants to die? I don't see any hands. Now, this death is not talking about physical death. It's talking about spiritual death. Hallelujah. Right. But to be spiritually minded is life. That's Zoe, the life of God, and peace. Peace is good. Yes. Peace is, peace is rest. Yes. It's God's rest. Yes. We can enter into God's rest by, simply by trusting God, believing God. Thank Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to skip down to verse 12. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors. Am I a debtor? I'm a debtor. Yep. I'm a debtor. We are not our own. We've been bought with a price. Romans chapter 12, verse 1 says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Amen. We have an obligation yeah. to live for God and live yes. holy. Thank you, Lord. Why? Because Jesus paid the price for us. Amen. He said, be not conformed to this world, but be you transformed 
Metamorpho. That means change from one thing to another. We're changed from one thing to another. Yes. We're transformed into the image of Christ. Hallelujah. From one degree of enlightenment to another. As we grow up into the Lord. Till Christ be formed in us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Verse 13. For if you live after the flesh, you shall die. But if you through the Spirit, say through the Spirit. Through the Spirit. Do mortify. Mortify means put to death or crucify the deeds of the body. You shall live for as many as are led by the Spirit of God. They are the sons of God. Hallelujah. Yes. John chapter 1 says that to as many as received him, to them gave him the, the ability, the power, exousia, ability to become the sons of God. And in Romans chapter 8 here it says, and as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. I want to walk and live as a son of God. We can do that because, yeah. because the Bible says so. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Turn me in 1 Corinthians chapter 6. Verse 6. Hallelujah. Now here's Paul's dealing with a situation in the church where one of the guys in the church had been defrauding another guy in the church. And Paul, Paul first dealt with the other guy that had been being defrauded. He said he wanted to take him to court amongst the world. And God said, you're better off just to suffer the wrong than to do that. And then he begins to deal with the, the brother that had the brother that had uh, been defrauding his brother. He said, But brother, go out to law with brother, and that before the unbelievers. Now therefore there is utterly a fault among you, because you go to law one with another. Why do you not rather take the wrong? He said, You'd be better off just to take the wrong. Why do you not suffer yourselves rather than to be defrauded? No, you do wrong and defraud. Now he's talking about the guy who's defrauding his brother. And that's your brother. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived. You see, unrighteousness will not inherit the kingdom of God. If you're going to defraud people, you're not going to inherit the kingdom of God. Don't be deceived. That's right. You see, they'll try to say, you can be doing that and you can still go to heaven. You can't be doing those things and go to heaven. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor executioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So there's great deceptions. We need to not be deceived. We need to walk in truth. Thank you, Lord. Jesus talked to a bunch of Jewish people who believed in him. They had believed in him. We call that believers. He said, to, he said to them, If you will continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed. Yes. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Now that is a scripture that's quoted. The truth will make you free. The truth will make you free. The only truth that makes you free is the truth of God's word. Jesus said, Father, thy word is truth. Thank you, Lord. So that's the truth he's talking about. But we need to walk in the truth of God's word. It will make us free. Now that got their hackles up because they believed that if you were just born a descendant of Abraham that you were already free. But Je and, they, and Jesus knew their hearts. So he said, you, you think that you're already free. And they said, we've never been in bondage to any man. He said, I tell you the truth. He said, whoever commits sin is a slave of sin. And the Son has come to set you free. Whoever the Son has set free is free indeed. He came to set us free from sin. Yes, thank He came you. to destroy the power of sin in our lives. Glory. So we can walk in true liberty, true freedom, to true peace and joy. Yes. I got that joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I got that joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay, and I'm so happy, so very happy. I have the love of Jesus in my heart, and I'm so happy, so very happy. I have the love of Jesus in my heart. I've got that peace that passes understanding down in my heart. Down in my heart, down in my heart. i got that peace that passes understanding down in my heart. Down in my heart to say, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Well, glory. Praise you, Father. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Glory, 
Glory to God. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 33 and 34. You can turn there if you want to. Be not deceived. Evil communications, and that means companionship. In other words, hanging out with evil people, corrupt good manners. In other words, they will cause you to, to do bad things. Awake to righteousness and sin not. Awake to righteousness and yes. sin not. Awake to righteousness and sin not. For some have not the knowledge of God. I speak this to your shame. So we need to not be deceived about thinking we can hang out with our old friends when we come back to Christ. If you go hang out with your old friends, they're going to pull you right back in your old ways. Hallelujah. So we need to awake to righteousness and sin not. Hallelujah. Turn me to Galatians chapter 6, verse 3. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Galatians chapter 6, verse 3. For if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. If you think you're more than you are, you're deceiving yourself. But let